Hello and welcome to another video on Dave's geek stuff. I am Dave. I got my 3D printer, which was uh, wonderful. And um, in the process, I've realized that this design is not quite the most efficient way. Um, designing something to 3D print when you actually have never used a 3D printer before is pretty um, pointless. But the last uh, video tutorial was more just showing you how to use the loft, but I'm gonna do this in a completely different way. And um, I've done this once before and actually printed them, so I know this works. So I'm gonna get rid of that loft. And in this tutorial, um, we're gonna make it out of uh, more sort of primary objects. And I'm gonna use the ball tool, which basically takes one object away from another. So you can, um, well, you'll see. So let's start. So um, I'm going to start with a cylinder, which is going to be um, my motor, which is going to be the basis of my my uh, motor to um, potentiometer connector. Um, so I'm going to just quickly, this is another thing. Last time I was working at a 10 times scale, which I thought for some reason was a sensible thing to do, um, but it wasn't. So I'm going to go to modeling, um, go to quantize, and I'm going to make it quantize at a millimeter. We're actually going to work at the scale that we would be uh, using for printing. So um, I'm going to make the radius of this. It's just going to be, uh, I'm going to make it 0.8 centimeters. Um, and I only want it the height of two centimeters. So you can see it's a very small cylinder there. I'm going to get rid of this floor for now because I don't need the floor in there. Um, and very simple cylinder. And basically I'm going to make the slit in one end. Well, actually it's going to go all the way through. And then the uh, star in the other end, um, probably the star in the top actually, um, to fit onto the potentiometer. I'm going to make an, a cube object, which is again, way too big for this. And I'm going to make this the size of the motor protrusion which is going to be 0.5, so 5 millimeters in the x direction, 0. Uh, oh, that's the y direction, so I'm just going to make that sort of 10 centimeters for now, and I'm going to make that 0. 0.2. So there you see we've got an elongated uh, cuboid going through a cylinder, and what I want to do is use this cuboid to cut the hole all the way through the cylinder. And that's very easy to do. I'll bring them down there. I'm going to add a ball. Sorry, it's in that menu there. And I'm going to put the cylinder in first and the cube in second, and it will cut the cube out of the cylinder. Now I just want to round the edges. So if I go to the cube here and I go to fill it, you can see that's rounded uh, rounded out the hole, which is exactly what I wanted to do. And now I can go as we did before. I can use the loft tool so I can create the star and uh, go to the loft tool. Put that star inside there. Uh, I need to put this star on the XZ axis and then create another star lower that I can move up a bit above it. Make sure I'm getting it above the top. Um, and I probably want to reduce those stars down. So the inner radius I'm going to do as um, 0.35 and the outer radius I'm going to have as um, 0.5. So that should give us a nice little star shape. And again, I'm going to get that ball. I'm going to create a new ball and put that ball inside that ball and then put the loft inside that to cut that out. So as you can see, because the two star splines are one sitting halfway down and the other sitting above it, it um, cuts that out perfectly. So that's actually what I did to make the adapter in the end. Um, I probably did as I did in the previous video, added in some more points, which get a bit 
funny because I need to go to the loft and up the number of uh, subdivisions. But then once I've done that, you can see that's um, that's pretty good. I could probably bring in this cylinder a little bit. Uh, so I could probably make it 0 0.7 in radius, maybe even 0.6. Um, and that's pretty much how I did the actual uh, finished product that I ended up sending to the printer, which worked absolutely beautifully. Um, so let me just put a floor in, make it look a bit nice. I know we're not doing animation here, but um, still, it's nice to look at your product and see it with some shading. So yeah, that's uh, that's another way of doing what I did in the previous video and actually how I ended up doing it. Uh, I hope that was useful and uh, I'll see you in the next video with something completely different.